Hey guys, um, just for you. Uh, I'm doing this just for you. This video is just for you and me. <laughs> um, what I do today? I worked on my portfolio. Tomorrow, the objective is to uh, call those counselors right at eight a.m. Then uh, remind a friend to get the email of another advisor at twelve for an appointment on Wednesday. I might have to reschedule that appointment, unfortunately, because my roommate has uh, doesn't have it, but he's doing his residency, and he just came back from Japan, and his employer is telling him he needs to stay away for two weeks. I'll let him know for sure um, tomorrow, but... His girlfriend's uh, place of work told her that if she comes in contact with him, she needs to isolate herself. I mean, stay away from work for two weeks. I use the word isolate, quarantine, and stay like, uh, interchangeably. I'm not, I don't mean quarantine. But he needs to stay away from work. And he'll find out tomorrow. So if he's good to go to work tomorrow, then I'm free to move around. On the low chance that he has it, I just don't feel like it's the responsible thing to go to this school on Wednesday. My parents are old. They're in their mid-60s. I'm trying hard, so... I'm not giving up. I'm sorry if I had to go on that. I'm trying hard. It's just... Blame myself, man. I just, but I'm just looking back. I don't know what else I could have done differently. I'm just so freaking perplexed. I'm like, how could I have failed? This is like I failed the class that I guess, I'm sorry. This is a third, first world, developing world problem, developed, developed world problem. Talking about grades, but to me, as a millennial in America, that's huge. Those tests, those grades mean a lot. Um. I'm trying to better myself and these tests are in the way, but I'm moving forward. It's okay. If I get into this other nursing program, perfect. It would even be better if I stayed in, the, in this nursing program. Um, I didn't take it for granted. I learned a lot. I learned a lot about myself. Um, <sighs> angry at myself, but what can you do, man? I'm just pissed. I'm just so pissed, bro. What makes it harder is just your parents. My parents are just, they're supportive, they're loving, they're helping me out financially. It's because of what happened, because of this event outside of my control it forced me to spend a lot of money, my own money, that I had saved up all at once. So they, it had to, you know, I had to ask them to help me out financially. And they did, and I just feel like I let them down. It was just... Fucking sucks, man. It just fucking sucks. Like, I wouldn't feel bad if they... If the burden wasn't on them, and I'm in debt, too. I got, like, 70000 I mean, I'm just... I'm not giving up, but damn... But I just gotta keep moving forward because like, I have no choice but to move forward. One door closes, open up another one. And this doesn't mean I'm dead. Like, holy shit, I have an opportunity to apply to other nursing schools. That's okay. If I have to ask my parents again, okay, I'll ask again. If they say no, okay, I'll do something else. I'll figure out a way. But for now, these are, this is 
this is the next right thing to do. <sighs> they can, worst case scenario, they can just be a co-signer. That'd be great. I just need a co-signer because this other nursing school is so inexpensive. That's why it'd be better. I don't. In a worst case scenario, they don't take my nursing school's credits. Fuck it. You know. I just feel disappointed in myself. I know they care, and I just feel like I let them down. I let my. I let myself down personally, because I know I could, could do it. I'm just shocked. But. Move forward. Being your feelings for about a day. Yeah, even I was in my feelings for about an hour. Oh, I really in my feelings when I first found out. But by that beginning of that second hour, I was already already. By the end of that second hour, I was already looking at other schools. I finished one application. You know. By the next day, I was in contact with. Made a contact with someone who put uh, another career opportunity in my mind, you know, hygiene. So, I'm not giving up. Don't ever give up, keep moving forward. And sometimes the people that, uh, that love you the most are your, also your biggest cheerleaders, but they also can be your biggest Debbie Downers. It's all out of love though. That's the crazy side of, it's, it's the love coin. The Debbie Downer side and the uh, supportive side. But move forward, move forward, move forward. That's it, just move forward.